Most people love being on the water, but we don't always love everything that happens once we're out there. How did that get there? Welcome back guys, it is your boy Broncos Guru, and it is this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. This week's a little unique, as every one of these stories we're going to view this week was sent in by a viewer. Hang out to the end of the video if you want to know how you can send me your stories as well. Our first event to make the boating news this week is going to be a little Ghost Rider action. Owen Vivine and several of his friends had a typical Sunday. They hit a little church, had a little Mexican food, and then went and hit the water to do a little tubing. While on the water, they noticed a boat getting close to themselves several times only to realize there was nobody behind the helm. They quickly returned to the dock for their own safety, but that boat decided to follow them. Owen quickly jumped into action and pulled the kill switch on this vessel to get it disabled. But there was no signs of anybody around until authorities arrived and they heard somebody screaming out on the water. The Coast Guard was called to go rescue this person and it turned out to be the lady who owned this vessel. Somehow while this vessel was underway, the lady fell off and the boat went on its own little joyride. They never did get to the real bottom of how she fell off. It seems like her story changed every time she told it. Our next item to make the news this week is going to take us to Lake Pleasant, Arizona, where things turned out to be not so pleasant when one of these massive squalls came rolling through the lake, causing damage to docks and boats with high winds and hail. It's a If you've never been in a situation like this where you get caught out on your waterway and you start seeing winds in the 70 mile an hour range, it is a pretty intense situation. Even here on a lake, it'll turn a lake into what appears to be an ocean and things can get hairy pretty quickly. As you can see the docks breaking apart, boats are going to come loose, things are going to start flying, and it can get a little crazy. Always be sure to check your local weather before you head out boating. If things start to look bad, don't be afraid to turn in and go back home. Our next incident to make the boating news this week is going to take us up to Portland, Oregon in the Willamette River where some large wake wound up sinking a little bit of a smaller vessel. There was a boat parade going on this day and several large boats came by throwing large wake while this family was sitting out enjoying their day in the water. These large wakes were a little more than this boat can handle. The water came over the bow of the vessel and it began to swamp the boat and it also began to sink at this point. The family whose vessel sunk was not part of the boating event that was going on this day. They were just out trying to enjoy their day in the water and things went a little wrong. There are obviously several Good Samaritan vessels sitting around right here so they did wind up pulling these people out of the water before the authorities got there and there were no injuries reported other than the boat sinking itself. Our next item on the boating news this week is going to remind us that you always have to use the blower. Most people know they need to use the blower after they put gasoline in their boat, but I'll tell you what, every time you start your vessel, you need to hit that blower switch. This is the scene up at Lake Minnetonka where three people were enjoying a nice evening float when they decided it was time to go in. They went to go start the vessel and heard a loud pop and a plume of smoke came out of the engine compartment. Fortunately, quick thinking by all three of these people, they dove immediately into the water as they knew it was about to happen. This was a very fortunate scene for this crew as there was no injuries and the only casualty was the boat. Our last item this week to make the boating news is going to take us back to back. Not only back to back fires, but this is a back to back week where St. Clair Shores, Michigan has made the boating news of the week. This is the scene at Ken's Marine in the Jefferson area right near the restaurant Mike's on the Water, who actually happened to be in the middle of dinner service at this time. Several of the guests there claimed hearing an explosion and all of a sudden when they looked out, they saw several boats on fire. This fire did originate at the fuel dock where there were two men fueling up a vessel and that vessel it appears exploded. The two men who were on that boat were able to jump into the water and were found a little bit later both uninjured there was no injuries reported in this once again a very fortunate situation where things could have ended up much worse had first responders not had a very quick response to this thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this episode of boating news of the week as i mentioned earlier every one of these clips was actually sent in by a viewer or the story was given to me by a viewer if you guys ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways be sure to hit me up on facebook or instagram and let me know and you might see your story over here as well just like owen vivine matt morellis jacob hansberger jim numerdor and jeff fleming did this this week and if you haven't already go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button if not i'm coming to steal your drain plug